What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. I made a video a few weeks ago about how I believe we have the fastest wide receiver group in the entire league from one to seven. I got a lot of comments from Dolphins fans trying to include running backs, Devin Ashane and Rasheem Mostert into the wide receiver conversation, which was just weird. So today I wanted to address that a little bit. Let's go beyond just the wide receiver room and talk about who has the fastest offense in the entire NFL. Justin Fields and Tyreek Hill were the two fastest players in the NFL in 2022. They were the only two players in the entire NFL that reached 20 plus miles per hour more than six times last season on a run. That's Tyreek Hill and Justin Fields. Tyreek led the league with 10 total touches of 20 plus miles per hour, but you might be surprised to learn that Justin Fields had nine and he actually led the league in 20 mile per hour touches most of the season until he missed a couple of games late in the year and Tyreek ended up passing him in week 18. But think about that, not only was Justin Fields one of the fastest players in the entire league, but he actually was statistically just as fast as Tyreek Hill last year. That's crazy. The Bears also have Valus Jones Jr., who had three touches over 20 miles per hour last season in very limited touches. He has that kind of insane speed as well. The Chicago Bears and Miami Dolphins were easily the top two fastest offenses in the NFL last season, according to NFL's next-gen stats. Both teams also got faster this offseason. The Bears added DJ Moore, who had four touches over 20 miles per hour last season, and Chase Claypool, who didn't record a 20 mile per hour touch with the Bears, but had two in Pittsburgh just last year. Meaning adding Claypool and DJ Moore would have given the Bears the most touches in the entire NFL last year over 20 miles per hour, even more than the Dolphins. So that means the Bears had the second fastest offense in the NFL, before adding DJ Moore and Chase Claypool. On top of that, they've also added Roshan Johnson and Tyler Scott. That's kind of crazy to think about. DJ Moore can fly. Chase Claypool can fly. Tyler Scott can fly. And I talked about Roshan Johnson as well. Wait till I get to his All-22 video. This dude has true home run speed as well and hit 22.8 miles per hour. I expect 2023 to be no different, as the Bears and Dolphins look like the two fastest offenses in the league. The Dolphins added Devin A. Chain, another guy capable of 4-2 speed, so I'm not going to get into it with Dolphins fans about which offense is faster right now, but they have to know our quarterback is as fast as anyone on their entire team, and we have burners at every position as well. The bottom line is this offense should be incredibly exciting to watch this season. I cannot wait until we start to see the fruits of Ryan Pohl's labors on the field. I believe the Chicago Bears have the fastest offense in the entire NFC and one of, if not the fastest, in the entire NFL. I think the average fan is still heavily underestimating how much talent we have on this offense this year. I think it will take a few weeks to get everyone on the same page, and we probably won't really get going till closer to mid-season, but this offense has so much talent and a ton of speed. It's going to be so fun to watch this season. Let me just quickly rehash our starting offense. Justin Fields can easily run 22 miles per hour. Khalil Herbert can hit over 20 miles per hour. Roshan Johnson can hit 22 miles per hour. And then the wide receivers. DJ Moore was top 10 in the NFL at runs over 20 miles per hour last year, adding another top dynamic home run threat. Chase Claypool also has that potential. So does Valus Jones Jr. So does Darnell Mooney. So does Tyler Scott. And then we have big time red zone targets, Cole Komet and Robert Tunyon as well. This offense as a whole is just going to be really exciting and fun to watch this year. I just wanted to share that stat with you guys today and talk about how fast this offense is going to be and also just touch on my optimism for the 2023 Chicago Bears offense. If you missed it, 
I released the Tyreek Stevenson full breakdown and all 22 video last night. Be sure to check that out. I'm already watching tape on Terrell Smith for the next video. That should hopefully be out this Sunday. And I've already put in a bunch of preliminary work on Roshan Johnson and Noah Sewell videos as well. I've watched a ton of tape on both of those guys already. The Roshan video is going to be insane. And I know one thing about Noah Sewell that you guys are all interested in is whether or not he can serve as a situational pass rusher. And of course, I'm going to address that in the Noah Sewell video as well. I've already put in a lot of work on that. I also have a couple more off-season videos and undrafted free agent spotlights coming as well. Let me know if there's anything in particular you guys would like to see. I'm also going to do some All-22 videos on some of last year's rookies, breaking down how their rookie season went and checking in on them as we head into their sophomore years. That should be fun as well. But most importantly, stay tuned, guys. Remember to hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.